males are experimenting sexually at a younger age. We may never be able to afford our own homes, blame the sandwiches, but at least us millennials aren't letting house shares or living at our parents' home for years hold us back from having all kinds of sex. New research from the Journal of Adolescent Health suggests that hip young millennials are experimenting sexually loads more than previous generations, and at a younger age. More than 1 in 10 millennials said they'd had anal sex by the age of 18, while by the age of 22-24, 3 in 10 said they'd tried some anal action. Vaginal and oral sex are still the most common types of sexual activity, so don't panic. We're not forgetting the joy of entering through the front door. And while we may be experimenting more, the age we start having sex hasn't budged much. The survey suggests most of us still have sex for the first time at 16. The average age millennials have their first kiss is 14. That's not a massive change, just so you know. Even when you compare these ages to the average in the 1930s, when dating was radically different, they've only shifted by around two years. Back in the 30s, teens had their first smooches at 16, and had sex for the first time at 19 or 20. It's not clear why we've become more experimental at a younger age. While some point to increasing the easy access to pornography, it could also be down to the decrease in judgment around sexual experimentation. It's no longer widely considered to be deeply sinful to have sex outside of marriage, or to have sex for purposes other than reproduction, you know, like lust and pleasure. All men need to listen to this sex ed radio show. Having a vasectomy can boost your sex life, apparently. What to do if your contraceptive pill is affecting your mental health? Kay Wellings, senior author of the research, said, the changes in practices we see here are consistent with the widening of other aspects of young people's sexual experience, and are perhaps not surprising given the rapidly changing social context and the ever-increasing number of influences on sexual behavior. Anal sex is still pretty stigmatized, but attitudes appear to be changing. We know society has become more accepting of things like same-sex behavior overall. K notes that more research is needed to understand why we're becoming more adventurous, but for now, let's just celebrate the notion that we're breaking down the shame around sex and trying out things to work out what we like. As long as we're staying safe, please use condoms, people, this can only be a good thing. More, is it okay to wake your partner up with a blowjob? More, these women are changing the face of sex education as we know it. More. Pegging the question, why strap-ons are a brilliant way of experiencing sex.